Hi guys, today we'll build a pocket screw jig. We'll model after the Craig's jig and also I'm gonna make a drill bit itself. Again, I'll model after the Craig's drill bit. It's best to use this type of, uh, of a drill bit with the pilot tip. And here I drilled two openings. One of them I used the Craig's drill bit and one of them was my own. I used that jig. So you can't really tell the difference. These pockets look identical. All right, let's do it. So I'm measuring the insert. I'm gonna cut the same length, which is one inch and three quarters, about 45 millimeters, if you use a metric. And the diameter of the tube inside is about three eighths, or to be precise, 9.5 millimeters. Okay, so now we need to measure the distance to the bottom which is exactly half inch from the bottom of the insert. Now we're gonna measure the angle, which is 15 degrees, and we'll drill two holes, seven eighths of an inch apart, about 23 millimeters. Now I'm gonna mix the epoxy resin, which I'm gonna use to glue those inserts in. They're gonna hold on nicely because there's sort of like a step inside, so they're not gonna go down. And now I'm gonna make the first cuts. That's gonna create those pockets inside of the jig. Using my chisel to make them square. Now I'm gonna cut the end about two and a quarter inch from the end of the insert, about 58 millimeters, because that's the guideline for three quarters of an inch stock. Now I'm gonna show you how I made the drill bit, just using my grinder and then I sharpened it. And now we're gonna test it. As you can see, the regular bit works great. My bit didn't work quite as good, but the result looks the same. When you're driving those screws in, you can't tell the difference which jig was used on these holes. All right, so the exit holes are right in the middle, as well as the entering holes right in the middle and nothing came out from the back side so which is good so the original bit is still better but the jig itself is just as good as the Craig's jig right guys thanks for watching be safe and happy with working